All right, uh, good afternoon. So this is my next project, um, 2008 335i. I believe it's an E92, I'm not quite sure. We're doing a heavy paint correction and IGL Quartz Plus. All right, uh, paint inspection time. It's really windy outside, so the garage door is buffering back and forth. So Monaco Blue, um, 335. So big lights in the corner. All right, so I'm staring at the light bulbs. Anytime I put light bulbs out, that's what I'm looking at. Lots and lots of swirls. You can just see how foggy the the light is just is just a lot of mess in the paint so a lot of room for clarity which is good that's that's the whole point of this polishing now when i was talking with the owner you know she was complaining about water spots now yes there's water spots everywhere so we'll address that we're gonna have to measure this thing so Now the good news is it's Thursday, it's about six o'clock on Thursday. I have the car till Sunday, um, Sunday afternoon. So that's, that's kind of my typical cadence, typical cadence that's Thursday night to, to Sunday. Um, so we're gonna try to get some polishing done tonight and then keep moving. A lot of just junk in the paint. Headlights, headlights are a little crusty. We're gonna try to polish those out without sanding. We'll see how, we'll see how it goes, but both of them are pretty, pretty funky. So that's it. That's our starting point. All right, so that's our test panel, right? I typically just start with the trunk. We try to do half the trunk, you know, figure out a decent combo and go from there. The majority of the time, I'm just using the same stuff. I'm using M100 to heavy cut and I'm using some type of wool pad. In this case, the rotary and the Rupes cut and refine wool pad. Beyond that, it's mostly late country wool pads. It's, it's something wool. I don't like microfiber too much heat. You can go wool pad with a rotor, you can put your hand on it. It's, it's, it's super cool. Um, it's not hot at all. And I think the main thing with the water spots is, you know, water spots are tricky depending on how long they've been on the car, depending on the source. You know, they, they start to eat in and etch the clear coat, you know, and, and depending on how bad it is, you have to, you know, shave a decent amount of clear off. You know, I probably have 25 minutes on half a trunk, right? Just going through is maybe seven or eight cycles, but that's, that's part of it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. You know, we're a solid 90%. You know, the car's got 130,000 miles on it. We're not gonna wet sand this whole thing. It makes no sense. All 
All right, good morning. Um, I want to get a like, couple hours in before work and at least try to tackle the hood. So I've been working on the left side, I taped it off, and I figure I'll just show what that is and try to record the left, or the untouched side. But in any event, here it is. Okay, so here's what we're starting with. I'm just using the UFO light overhead. The rest of the lights are turned off. It's a lot of clear coat damage. The water spots that's the, that the owner is concerned about. And just the, you know, years of haze. And here's our after. Now there's, there's some pitting, there's some rock chips. I'm not, I can't do anything about that, but we can cut through the grime and show what this thing really should look like. If we back out it a little bit, Right. A pretty heavy combination, M100, Rupes wool rotary, um, and then I actually did a second intermediate step with another wool pad on the DA just to clean up some of the holograms before refining with the um, foam pad and fine polish. All right, but you can see there's no holograms on this car. Clarity is, in, clarity is in pretty good. I'm happy with it, all compared to the before. Now the paint's all done, it's ready for coating. Um, we're going with IGL Quartz Plus. This is a three year rated coating. Um, Charlotte actually hit a low last night. At, I was reading the news, it said um, the 23 degrees, that set a new record. I guess the prior record was like 25 back in 72. But this mini split has actually been working really well. It heats up fast. I mean, I, I had it at 72, then I was getting blown out. So now it's at 68. I took my jacket off, so I'm still hot. So I'm super curious how it does this summer. So Premier Pre-Coat, this is what I just did. So I'm not gonna use this one. And then this is the base, so base, and then top. Okay. The, the one downside to this is it soaks up a lot of ceramics, so it's it, it, it's a bit wasteful. Um, but I don't like the I don't like the micro suede's. Come on. Childproof. So, super simple. We're just gonna prime the pad, load it up a bit, and then it'll be less. But the other good benefit of this mini split is I can, because I can control the heat, I'm not. I'm not dependent on when I can put these coatings on. Typically, like especially during the summer, I, because of the humidity is so high, and it's just it's just too hot in here. Even with the door closed, I don't do ceramics till the evening. Typically, like Saturday evening, like after eight. But now I can do it whenever I want. I completely forgot I was making a video, or at least trying to make a video, and finished the car off. 
So we're basically done. We're gonna wrap this up tonight. It's eight o'clock on Saturday. We had it picked up tomorrow. A um, couple odds and ends to do, but that's enough for today. We've been going at it since 7.30 this morning. Um, I think I'm all in, it, what, 18 hours, I think? Um, but in any event, call this fantastic. We'll get some final shots and call this one done. Thanks.